What's your Everest? Finding your Sherpa may not be necessarily that easy. As I mentioned, you don't really know where they might be. But it requires some courage from you in the first place. No one will know to help you if you don't ask for it. You can't assume that they'll see the problem or need for help and want to help you out. They see that you're going through challenges or struggle or even just see that you have a goal or a dream, an Everest of sorts that you're pursuing and could use some help with it. So you have to have the courage to reach out, to share with them. And sometimes people will talk to you and give you lots of lip service. Oh yeah, I'd love to help. But when it gets tough, when it gets hard, maybe they're not there. So it requires a couple of things. One, you have to have the courage to declare your goal. Two, you have to have the courage to ask for help. And people often, you'll be surprised, are more than willing to help out. And three, you have to be willing to be a Sherpa yourself. It's reciprocal. And there's joy in that. That's the exchange of friendship and support. If you take the time to ask them, hey, what's your goal? And that's probably the best way to start the dialogue. Rather than declaring yours, ask them about theirs. Have you ever thought about an Everest? Have you ever thought about what it is you really want to do in your life? And I would kind of imagine that the person with whom you speak hasn't. And be there for them and talk to them. You can attract Sherpas into your life by being a Sherpa first yourself. So who are your Sherpas? Who's on your team?